Okay, so let's do another example. I'm going to set it up. You can pause the video and, and do it. So, again, I have um, this stress configuration on different planes. I'm, this is all given information. I'm giving you, calling, we're going to call this A and this one B. Hold on a second. And what you're going to do to do this example is you're first going to draw the circle by coming up with the center, the radius, sigma 1, sigma 3, tau max, and beta. Get all that information. I'm helping out a little bit by telling you the plane and the points the sigma and tau for the plane. So in other words, for plane A, what do I have? 8, negative 2. For plane B, I've got negative 4, 2. So I'm not going to go through why those are the signs they are, because I've already gone through it a million times. So what you want to do is pause the video, draw the circle by plotting these points, filling in all those lines. Okay? Start there. Then, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to look at the real world. And, of course, the question is, find the stresses on a horizontal plane. And you are going to look at the real world, develop a starting plane, angle, and direction. Do that. After you've completed that, then you're going to fill in the more world and you're going to follow the instructions on the more in the more world to determine the stresses on a horizontal plane okay so pause the video here and solve this problem all right i'm assuming that you have uh, done the problem i'm going to explain it so I gave the, the um, stresses 8, negative 2, that's point A, and notice it's in the correct quadrant. Negative 4, 2, that's point B. Again, it's in the correct quadrant. We then draw a straight line between them. I split the x-coordinates. I, I get 8 minus 4 over 2 is 2, so that, that my center is at 2. I create this triangle here. I get the legs. That is 6. That is 2. I find the radius by taking the square root of the sum of the squares of the legs. Here is my angle beta. Beta is the arctangent of the two legs. Sigma 1 is the center plus the radius. Sigma 3 is the center minus the radius. We have now learned everything we need to know about the circle. And we're now going to look at my real world. And I'm going to fill in this table in the real world. Recognizing that I'm trying to get the stresses on the horizontal plane. Why? Because that was the question. So... We fill it in, and, well, to get to the horizontal plane, I'm going to start at plane A, and I'm going to go to the horizontal plane. Well, how do I go from plane A to the horizontal plane? I've got to go 60 degrees counterclockwise. So I write this out, start at plane A, I go 60 degrees counterclockwise. These stay the same. I double that to get more, and these reverse. So I end up with, in my more world, I start in plane A, 
I go 120 degrees clockwise. So I look for plant. So the next thing I do is I look in the more world. So here's my more world. I look for plane A. I'm following the instructions that we just did. Follow these instructions. What does it say? I have to look for plane A. I have to go 120 degrees. I have to go clockwise. So I find plane A. And I'm going to go 120 degrees clockwise. It takes me over here. So I get to here. So in other words, now I'm just going to use, I, I, my goal is to find the coordinates of this point. I'm going to use geometry and trigonometry, which you can all do to get it. The way to, simplest way to do this is to create this triangle here. Once I have that triangle, I need to determine the value of x and the value of y. So, I need to find what that angle theta is, given all of the other things that I have going on. Well, in the process of doing all this, I knew that this is 18.4 degrees. Why? Because that's my beta. I know that this is 120 degrees. Why? Because that's from here. So to get my theta, it's a simple you know, subtraction from um, 180. So I get my theta is simply 180 minus 120 minus 18.4. So my theta is 41.6. My x value is our cosine theta. My y value is our sine theta. I now have the geometry of the triangle worked out. And that's going to get me to my coordinates here. I have to look at the picture. Now, I have to look at this. <laughs> In other words, I can't do this blindly at this point. I've done all of this. But I have to see that the x-coordinate of this point is the center minus x. Why? Because it's, you know, using your number line theory, I'm going to the left. So for this particular problem, the x-value, or the sigma, is the center minus x. And that gives me sigma is negative 2.7. Notice the tau is negative y. Why? Because notice I'm, I'm below the x-axis now. So the tau coordinate is negative y, not positive y. So each problem is a little bit different. You have to look at it, look at the actual dr drawing you have, and, and figure out how to get the sigma and tau. And what we find is, we, so we end up with sigma is negative 2.7, tau is negative 4.18. So that when I get all done, I'm now going to draw in the real world the stresses on the horizontal plane. And there they are. And what do I find? Sigma is negative 2.7, tau is negative 4.18. There is basically, there is your final answer. You have to show a picture. There is your final answer. You have to show a picture to illustrate that you understand the meaning of the stresses. All right. Pause the video here and do this one. Now uh, I'm just going to point out what this is. What are we trying to do? We're trying to draw the Mohr circle, find the stresses on the 25 degree plane. And I'll talk about the Tresca thing in a moment, but for the time being, I want you to draw the Mohr circle, find the stresses on the 25 degree plane. That is the plane given here. 
So, what you're going to do, now I've given you the, I've given you these stresses again. Hopefully you're getting accustomed to doing them because I'm not going to give them to you anymore. Uh, but you want to put those values on the Morse circle plot, create the circle, fill in all the, well, fill in those values as you create the circle. Then fill in this table to lead to the stresses on the um, uh, 25 degree plane, the sigma and tau 25 degree plane. Okay, I'm going to assume that you've done it. I'm not going to go, here's the circle. You can all draw the circle at this point. So I'm just going to assume that you've obtained all this information. We have the stresses on the horizontal plane, the stresses on the vertical plane, and um, they are labeled here. So 12, 2 on the horizontal plane, negative 8, negative 2 on the vertical plane. Draw our line, etc., etc. Get all of the important information. I've created this little triangle in here, gotten my beta. 11.31 degrees and now the part that you have to do next is to fill out this table so again you need to know the headings here we've got the starting plane we have the angle and the direction you need to fill those in so I'm going to look in the real world look in the real world to fill in the first line. What do I see? If I start at the horizontal plane, to get to this plane I have to go 25 degrees clockwise. So to get to, my starting plane is the horizontal plane. So I start at the horizontal plane, I go 25 degrees clockwise. I then keep that the same, horizontal, I have to double it to get to more and I go counterclockwise the opposite direction. So I'm going to follow these instructions in the Moore world. The, this is the Moore world. And it says start at the horizontal plane, go 50 degrees counterclockwise. So there is my horizontal plane. So I'm starting here is my horizontal plane. I'm going to go 50 degrees from that plane, counterclockwise, takes me to a point there. I have to find the coordinates of that point. That is what I want to do. And again, it's very straightforward geometry and trigonometry. And in the, now I have a, again, you have to, each problem is a little bit different. So you have to look at each problem from geometry. I now create a new triangle. It's like this. That triangle, if I look at it, I've got, um, I've got the 50 degrees and I have the beta. In other words, the beta was 11.31. So the total angle for that triangle is 61.31. So I'm at 61.31 in my triangle, and I put on my X and my Y. The radius is the hypotenuse. So there's my hypotenuse is 10.2. X is 10.2 cosine. Y is 10.2 sine of 61.31 because I didn't show it here and I get my X and Y and then once I have my X and Y what do I know? The Sigma of that point is the center plus X the tau of that point is simply positive Y 
So I get a sigma of 6.9, a tau of 8.95. I'm now going to illustrate it in real. So this is, this is real. Also, there's my plane, 25 degrees, and the sigma is 6.9, the tau is 8.95. And they, can, they match our sign conventions. Okay, I'm going to give you this one. Find the stresses on the plane shown. Pause the video. I'm just going to and do this problem. Now I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. Actually, okay, so, okay, so what do I have? I look here. Oops. Negative 6, 8. Horizontal plane. Negative 20, negative 8. That's on the vertical plane. So notice this is the vertical plane, that's the horizontal plane. Draw my circle. I'm not going to, once I have that, I'm letting you get all of this information. So you now have all of that. I'm going to look in real. There's the plane I'm trying to get to. I'm going to start at the horizontal plane. I start at the horizontal plane and I go what? I go 15 degrees counterclockwise. I write that down in the first line. Keep that the same. I double that, reverse that. I follow these instructions in the more world. Here's my more world. If I've labeled everything properly, I find the horizontal plane. There it is. It says go 30 degrees clockwise. I'm going to go 30 degrees clockwise. I get here. And my goal is to get the... Um, the coordinates of this point. In order to do that, I have to create this triangle. I know the radius of it. There's that triangle. I get the angle is 18.8 degrees because beta is, is um, beta is 48.8, and this angle is 30. That gives me 18.8 degrees. So X is, <coughs> excuse me, the radius cosine. Y is the radius sine. Get my X and my Y. I look at this picture. That means tau is equal to y. I look at the picture, sigma is the center plus x. Get my sigma, get my tau, and then I draw it on a real plane at 15 degrees. There's my plane at 15 degrees. I follow the sign convention. Sigma is negative, meaning it's compression pointing toward the body. Tau is positive, meaning it's counterclockwise, about a, about a point there.